Good afternoon. Happy Caribbean American Heritage Month, everyone. And thank you to everyone that joined us this afternoon for our luncheon as well. I cannot express how much it means to me to be here with you all to celebrate one of our nation's most exciting cultures. Every one of you here today, um, you know, it's very fitting that back to back, we're going to not only recognize Caribbean American Heritage Month, but also Juneteenth, which will be organized by Council Member Jawando. This is truly black excellence at its finest. As the first Caribbean American elected in Montgomery County, it gives me great pride to be able to represent my heritage in this position on the council. I'm a first generation Jamaican American, born and raised in Maryland, the youngest of six children born to Jamaican immigrants and public servants who dedicated their lives to their country and community and inspired my commitment to our community. I would like to thank all the community leaders who are present for this special occasion. I particularly appreciate the work of the Caribbean American Advisory Group and the Office of Community Partnerships. These groups play an integral role in bringing Caribbean culture to our county and helping the Caribbean community thrive. Today's event does not happen without their guidance, their assistance, and support. It is monumental that at the state level, we have a governor in West Moore who has Jamaican roots. We have an attorney general, Anthony Brown, whose father was born in Jamaica. Also the chair of the Legislative Black Caucus, Delegate Wilkins, was born in Jamaica. The Caribbean consists of 13 sovereign countries and many different cultures, languages, and ethnicities. However, it does not, it makes me particularly proud to see people from my county um, joining me in representing my heritage, represented in the highest ranks of power. Caribbean Americans contribute so much to our county's diversity, economic development, education and culture, and so much more. I hope that during Caribbean Heritage, uh, Caribbean American Heritage Month, we can all appreciate everything that we have to offer and recognize our success on a national and local level. Once again, uh, thank you all so much for coming. Before we read the proclamation, I would like to call up our speakers to share a few brief remarks. Former Ambassador of Jamaica to the United Nations, Curtis Ward. Chair of the Caribbean Advisory Group, Venice Mundell Harvey. And our County Executive, Mark Elrich. Come on up. And we also have uh, Delegate Wilkins, Chief of Staff Isabella, who will read a proclamation in addition to the council proclamation. Also, Governor Moore will be sending a proclamation to acknowledge this historic moment. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, council member. Lorian Seals, thank you so much for having this recognition to mark Caribbean heritage in Maryland. And I thank the council for hosting us. And, um, and I also thank our county executive who is here with us. I just want to say I can claim Montgomery County as home, like many other members of the Caribbean community can. My wife and I moved into Montgomery County, hold your breath folks, in 1976. We have three grown adult children who attended public schools in Maryland, in Montgomery County. It's a great county. And I would want to live nowhere else except Jamaica at this point in time. And so I want to thank each and every one of you for recognizing our heritage, for celebrating with us. And Council Member, as you quite notably um, recognize during the lunch, so many different members of the Caribbean community here with us. 
Um, you mentioned 13 sovereign states. And I, I must say that today and yesterday, there's a conference in Jamaica to bring peace and stability and hopefully prosperity to the largest Caribbean state, Haiti. And um, our liaison with the county executive, as you know, is from Haiti. And I just wanted to raise that because it, we are all keeping our fingers crossed. We're all praying for Haiti today. And, and um, again, thank you for recognizing our heritage. Thank you. Thank you, former Ambassador Curtis Ward. Now we will hear from the chair of the Caribbean Advisory Group, Venice Mundell Harvey. Good evening. It is so great to be in this moment. Um, I am Venice Mundell Harvey, co-chair of the Caribbean American Advisory Group. Um, we, several of the members of the advisory group is here this afternoon. And, um, thank you. And uh, my co-chair, Derice Dean, is here as well. It is great to be here today in this celebration of Caribbean American Heritage Month. I want to thank the County Councilwoman, Lorianne Sales, and the County Council um, and the County Executive for bringing the Caribbean community to the Council Building for this proclamation. It was in June of 2006 that President du George W. Bush proclaimed June as Caribbean American Heritage Month. With this, for the last 17 years, we have celebrated the rich culture of the Caribbean region. We celebrate the dreams, the contributions, dedication, and all that the Caribbean people have contributed to the United States of America, especially here in Montgomery County. Many of us have raised our children here. We operate successful businesses. We are elected officials. We are governor. We volunteer. We own homes. And we are good citizens of this county. However, we will not overlook those who need our support and will continue to work on their behalf. For today and the rest of June, we celebrate our culture, our heritage, our accomplishments, and, contrib and contributions. Today in this space, I celebrate Councilwoman Lorian Sales, the first Caribbean. <laughs> and may I say woman, <laughs> to be elected to Montgomery County Council. We have so much left to accomplish, but today and this month, we celebrate. We are true to come together as a community to honor and celebrate the rich culture and heritage of the Caribbean diaspora. This month long celebration is a time to recognize and appreciate the contributions of Caribbean Americans to the fabric of our society for their vibrant music, art, and cuisine, which we just enjoy, to their strong spirit of resilience. Thank you to the county and the county council and the county executive for marking this moment with us. Thank you, Madam Chair. Now we will hear from our county executive before we read the proclamation. Thank you. So thank you very much, and it's, uh, it's really nice to be here, and there's a lot of Caribbean stuff happening this week. I was at a festival in Silver Spring a couple of days ago with lots of music and lots of food. We have this event today, and tonight we'll be across the street in the executive office building doing a celebration for the Caribbean community. So it's an important time for everybody, and we're part of the celebration. I just want to thank everyone for the role they play in Montgomery County, the participation in community life, the participation in businesses, all the work you do in Montgomery County, it doesn't go unnoticed and it's really, really important. I, I grew up with, you know, one Caribbean figure that I got to know through my parents and that was the singer and actor Harry Belafonte. And Harry Belafonte wasn't just a singer and actor, he was a political activist and he was a progressive and he fought on the side of justice. And he came through in the 50s with a hit that soared to the top of the charts and was one of those breakthroughs 
when an African artist, African American or African American artist, made it to the top of a chart and got recognized widely within the establishment. And it was one of those moments when somebody was able to break through the wall that had kept people out for too long a period of time. And Belafonte continued until his death working for people in the Caribbean and working for people around the world to give them better lives. And so he's a, just a stunning example of somebody in, from the Afro-Caribbean community who played an astounding role, not just in the arts, but in American society and culture. And I think it's appropriate that we remember him when we talk about having Caribbean festivals and Caribbean American Day. This is a big deal because he was a big deal in his time. So I just wanted to add that acknowledgement and uh, I encourage everybody to be the Harry Belafontes of your generation. Stand up, speak out, and ask for what's right. Thank you. Thank you, County Executive Elrich. And I will just quickly read the citation from um, the Maryland General Assembly official citation. Be it hereby known to all that sincere congratulations are offered to the Honorable Lorian Sales, Council Member at Large, and the entire Montgomery County Caribbean community in recognition of Caribbean Heritage Month 2023 and your rich and deep contributions to the state of Maryland, presented on this 13th day of June by Delegate Janelle Wilkins of Montgomery County Leg Legislative District 20. Proclamation from Montgomery County, Maryland. Whereas during Caribbean American Heritage Month, over 5 million Americans proudly share their Caribbean heritage, especially promoting and celebrating Caribbean style events. We celebrate the contributions that Caribbean Americans have made to the fabric of our nation. We pay tribute to the culture and bonds of friendship that unite the United States and the Caribbean countries through our common values and our shared history and. Whereas our nation has thrived as a county of immigrants and we are more vibrant and hopeful because of the talent, faith and values of Caribbean Americans, they've enriched our society and added to the strength of America and. Whereas the Caribbean American community has provided leaders in government, sports, entertainment, in the arts, and many other fields of outstanding accomplishments in the United States in general and in Montgomery County in particular. Now, therefore, be it resolved, Mark Elrich is County Executive and Lorianne Sales is Council Member of Montgomery County, Maryland, hereby proclaimed the month of June 2023 as Caribbean Heritage Month in Montgomery County. And we encourage all our residents to join us in recognizing the outstanding contributions of Caribbean Americans signed the first day of June, 2023. Thank you. Thank you. 